Hey, don't blame. Hey, don't blame me for this. Blame it on Brevard. It's all Brevard's fault. Hello YouTube, Mark here with another episode of the Geo Show brought to you today by the Geo Scholar. Rivers are known for meandering. That's a process in which the river goes through its little curves because erosion is taking place. The river is finding the path of least resistance on its water course. So when that river is cutting through the land and it's having to bend. You have your little ebb and flow going. It's having to bend because erosion is taking place and whatever is the softest, whatever dirt, ground, soil is the softest. It's the soft. <laughs> Sorry. Whatever is the softest, it's going to erode and you're going to have a pattern. You're going to have the bending taking place. That is how rivers normally work. However, the Chattahoochee River, you might notice a few bends here and there, but for the most part, it tends to be a lot more straight in its water course compared to a lot of other rivers. And we can blame that on the Brevard Fault. Yes, it is all Brevard's fault. The Brevard Fault Line runs parallel to the Chattahoochee River. And if you look at the Chattahoochee River, you notice there is not a large amount of meandering along this river. The Brevard Fault is a lateral strike slip fault going from northeast to southwest. With the Brevard Fault running parallel to the Chattahoochee River, think of the Chattahoochee River's water course as being locked in by the Brevard Fault. The water course is guided by the fault. In short, it is Brevard's fault that there isn't more meandering. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.